So one thing that I think of, for example, a person can play piano, but he isn't yeah. educated. Like he doesn't know English. Yeah. Okay. Will will that make him an educated person? Ah. At least he knows how to yeah, play a piano. He has that skill. He has that skill. Yeah. Just because he doesn't have a degree yeah. in medical or something, that does not mm. make him that he cannot do anything. Mm. Our country is poor. People mm. are suffering. That's mm. why they're greedy. They need mm. money to live a stable life. Mm. But any solution. Areej Bitiya, when you look at the world at large, I mean at the broader, wider, large canvas, as the whole world has turned into a small global village and we've become the global citizens. Yes, no, we yes. are not confined no, to one boundary. One no. boundary. See, among all available or present no, careers in the world, which one you love the most? Business. See, the lady, no, I mean the young girl, she loves business. What's the reason? You meet different people. Okay. Get to know them. Yeah. And you get the feeling of making the deal. Yeah. Please repeat all three points one by one. The first one is? You get to meet different people. They can be around from different places and world. Different people, okay. And okay. second point was? You get the feeling of making a deal. And the third one? And the third point is that in business, you cannot go back on your words. Is it possible to discuss these points one by one? Because yeah. they are very, very important, no? See, her choice is based on these three points. I would love to know about her understanding of all three concepts. See, meeting different people. What do you mean by different people? When you do business and you do it at a great, a great scale, mm. it's not only in your country yeah. or the neighbor country, it can be around the whole globe. Yeah. So when you will do business around the whole globe, mm. you get, to, you obviously get to meet different people. Okay. For example, I have done some business in Mexico. Okay. I'll get to meet Mexican people, mm. I'll learn about their culture, mm. how they talk, their language and so much more. Yeah. You know, I have already told you that I really love traveling. Yeah. So it can also like I can pursue both my dreams together. Yeah, excellent. Traveling the world and second, you no know, meeting Business. the people worldwide. Yeah. No, you just said that by visiting the world and meeting the people, you get to know about the culture worldwide. See your interaction with people worldwide lets you know about their culture. Could you please highlight the benefits which your area get from it? Your area, the area you are living in, yes. no? the area basically you belong to. So much more, you go to other countries, you, mm. you see their system, yeah. their culture. For yeah. example, if their security system is different from ours yeah. and is better, mm. we can come back to our country. We can tell people that their system is like this and it's better. Yeah. You can improve ours. Excellent. So you are of the point of view that this visitation and this meeting with the people worldwide it finally results in making your area better yeah. by learning from their culture by learning from their successful system no? and you can adopt them no of course see my question now that do you think that if we try to adopt those systems yes. which are running successfully in the world i myself know that visit a number of countries of the world no yes. so i know i do second you that it happens no do you think that now that if if we want now to implement those systems in our country would it be possible for the people yeah, to adapt excellent. to that environment yeah two things are there yes possibility yes of adoption now. yes will the people be able to adopt it the first point the second one is to know about the possible hurdles which we can face as you know our country is facing poverty yeah so we don't have the money for doing yeah. that right now at the moment true but if of course we'll like grow up grow our society and culture and everything that the country will grow we'll have money and we can do that yeah so let's come to the second point that is that will our people be able to adapt that yeah first of all people you know usually in our country they some youngsters yeah us true. we do sport uh, yeah but the 
old people of our country. Yeah. They're like, nah, do we even need that? Yeah. How will we like drive fast? We cannot drive that slow. We need yeah. to break the sign. Yeah. They cannot. They do not like to follow the rules. Or oh, now country people do not like to follow the rules. Mm. They're like, it's all right. What's ah, the big deal? True. If you follow, then others follow. Mm, excellent. You seem to be keen observant of society. And you have rightly observed the resisting behavior of the people towards change. So, any solution in your mind? Now, that what should we do in that particular case? Now, when we try to make these changes in our country, you know, and there's a resistance, you know, especially by the old people, you no? Know, yes. Oh, no, the system doesn't support us over here, you no? Know, to include those beautiful or successful features of the system, you no, know, in our system. Yes. You know? So, any suggestion from your side? What should we do? First of all, we'll go up to them and talk with them and mm. make them understand this. It is really, really necessary for us yeah, to do this. True. And if they don't understand, then for the betterment of the country, yeah. for example, if some old man like broke the rule of the car driving or something, yeah. he was driving really fast, true. you can stop his car and tell him you have to pay the fine. True. And those fine can also really help us. Yeah, true. True. So they will know that it's their fault. They broke the rule. True. Then next true. time they wouldn't. You know, our people are really like um, mm. wiser. So what I could understand from a talk, you know, the first thing, go for counselling, keep advising them, you no, know, and and it's you to find them and find actually it shall be paying back, you know, to those people, you no, know, the people know who that are fine. They have to take responsibility. And they will, they shall become responsible. You know. yes. If they find, they shall become responsible. Of if they advise, they shall become responsible. responsible. So there are two ways, you know, first, counsel Uncle them, them, advise them, or challenge them, you no, know, yes. or find them, you no, know, yes. you no, know, penalize them, you no. Know. Yeah. Excellent. So good idea. And the second point, which you mentioned during your talk about doing a successful business is perfect deal. Yes. What is meant by perfect deal? The perfect deal is the one in which both the sides, the yeah. both the parties, mm. are having equal benefits yeah. and equal downfalls because Very not every good. deal is perfect. Mm. The perfect deal is one in which you have benefit as well as downfalls mm. but equally. Ah, means the business person, businesswoman, businessman yes. and the customer, yes. the client, no? Yes. So, perfect deal means we are no both are at advantage. Advantage. And if, God forbid, no, if there is some loss, so that is shared by? Both of both. them. Excellent. This is? Business. This is business. And this is perfect deal. Perfect deal. Excellent. Do you think that in our country, you know, that this concept exists? People usually scam each other here. Yeah. True, true. They tell them that this mm. thing is really good mm. and you will get more advantage than yeah. I will be getting. Yeah. And at the end, that person like um, robs the person yeah. and went away. And over them. here, so we exploit the weaknesses of others, especially our clients. No? Yes. So, what are the reasons that in spite of that, that how beautiful or attractive that point is we are talking about, but we the Pakistanis over here, great majority, yeah. we are not ready to adopt that. But We've created a culture where most of us exploit the innocence, sincerity or believing nature of our partner in business or even our clients and common people. What's the reason? People are just so greedy here. They don't think that that same situation can happen to them. Mm. Have some God fear, people. Yeah. You know, um, when the one thing that can like really stop this mm. is just rather than trusting anybody. Okay. Why don't you like go up to them and like say strictly to them that we're gonna make this deal yeah. on these points and mm. that's it. Want to make the deal? Make it. Don't want to? Do not make it. Yeah. Excellent. That's why I said stick to your word. True. That makes a perfect deal. Okay, uh, you just uh, highlighted one factor, you no? Know, that is greed. The people, you know, they are greedy or rare. Now, how to get rid of this greedy nature? Our country is poor. People mm. are suffering. That's mm. why they're greedy. They need mm. money to live a stable life. Mm. But any solution in, in your mind, you no, know, in your knowledge, in your understanding. No, people don't give jobs to the people who mm. aren't that much educated. Mm. Okay, so one thing that I think of, for example, a person can play piano, but he isn't yeah. educated, like he doesn't know English. Yeah. Okay, will, will that make him an educated person? 
Ah. At least he knows how to yeah, play a piano. He has that skill. He has that skill. Yeah. Just because he doesn't have a degree yeah. in medical or something, that does not mm. make him that he cannot do anything. Mm. Mashallah. Whenever she speaks on some topic, she highlights number of related points, related ideas to explore further. See over here, it means not that skill and degree. Education, no, I mean yes. degree is there, skill is there. So which one is superior? No, I myself think that uh, no skill, it should, priority, no? it should be given the priority. No, it should be given the priority. Yes, of course. The degree we doesn't know that make you skilled, no, or skillful, no, that you are illiterate, no, to are uneducated, no. Yes. You know, you're nothing. Yes. So we shall discuss that in the days to come. No, that degree or skill, skill. no. The third point, which you think is the natural outcome of the business mind, is that a business person always keeps his words yes we cannot know that even imagine that person shall go for betrayal no no this is your firm belief that there's no betrayal in business know that if you'll make the perfect deal mm. then none of them can go back in their words yeah because I said because there the, 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 the will be equal, equal, equal equality. Excellent. Yeah. So if that person will make you fall, he will fall with you. Uh, yeah, excellent. So mean the third point is based on the second, second point. One. Yeah. See another interesting point of view, mashallah. The society we you know the problem, the sorrows, the pleasures, excitements, and boredoms, all these are shared. Yeah. That society always know is ready you not know, to sacrifice one another no so there's a their society supportive no as a whole no yes. where these two things are and there. there's balance in yeah society. balance no excellent no let's share our feelings of no let's share our emotions of love and hate no our profits and losses so there shall be a balance now in the society, society in the relationship etc so great idea you have given no so these are the three points actually which finally you know that uh, convinced you know to go for your business, business now see this area the area we are living in yes. or the country we are living do you think that it is business friendly 